All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create audiences in Google ads so that you can retarget them. So this would be audiences like website visitors and things like that. Now, I just want to make it clear that this is not the same thing as an audience segment, which is the setting that you can set. So you target people based on demographics or interests and things like that. That's an entirely separate thing, which I've made it another video on. So I'm going to put a link above. If you want to find out how to do that, go click that link and go watch that video. Otherwise, in this video, I'm showing you how to do this for the purposes of remarketing. So I'm going to show you how to to do this in two ways one with Google Ads only without using Google Analytics and then the second way I'm going to show you is how to do this through Google Analytics as well so the first thing is without Google Analytics let's set one up as an example so you'd log into your Google Ads account and then what you want to do is go to tools and go to shared library and then audience manager and in here you can create the custom audience that you want targeted through your Google Ads so what you would want to do is hit add and let's Say for instance, you want to make website visitors or app users, or whoever you want. In this particular case, I am going to do website visitors. What you would do is you'd click that, you would give it a name. So let's say website visitors in this case. And now what you can do is segment the people who visited, let's say, on only a particular part of your website. So for instance, you can do website page visit in the last 30 days, in the last 90 days. You can do visitors of a specific page with a specific tag, for instance. Let's go back to this one if we refine this what you can do is do page url contains and then a specific url so let's say for instance if you want to track only people who submitted a particular form you could put the thank you page url in here or something like that and then you can set for how long you want this to be so let's say people in the last 30 days or in the last 90 days and so on now now under here what you can choose is whether you want google ads to pre-fill this with people who've done this in the last 30 days or whether you want to start with a new one typically you can leave it to pre-fill it and just go from there you may as well and then in the description you can add a description if you want and then you would hit create segment and now it's going to create that custom audience which you can now target in your google ads now what you want to do is go to data sources and add the tag to your website so if you're only doing this only through google ads without google analytics you're going to have to add the tag so what you would do is you'd go to google tag here and you hit this and you want to get this tag under tag setup and you want to add this tag to your website so basically you would want to copy this tag and you would want to paste this on every page of your website so typically speaking in the head section or somewhere that's on every page typically you would want to put that in the header section or you can do it through google tag manager so if you're going to do it through google tag manager basically you'd want to copy that what you can do is you can go to use tag manager and use this conversion id and so what you would do is you'd go into google tag manager and you would go, go new firstly you would go to tags and then you would go new and here you can put google ads audience and then you would go tag configuration and you go google ads remarketing and now what you would do is put the tag in there and then go all pages and hit add and then save and so now what's going to happen is google's going to collect that data every time you do this you'd obviously want to hit submit and publish this to your website and then google's going to track this tag and start filling up the audience based on the tag we just added so that's how that works now once that's done now you can basically add this audience to your google campaign so what you could do is you could go to campaign let's say i want to add an audience to this i would just select one of my campaigns i'm just going to do it as an example you would select the campaign you would go to ads audience Audiences, keywords and content go audiences and now in here you can add your audiences so you would go add audience segment and basically what you would do is you would add the people you just added as an audience segment so what you would do is you'd hit browse and then you would go here your data segment and in here you should see the thing that you just added so let's say website visitors for example and then you can add that so now what will happen is if you select targeting it will only target previous website visitors if you select observation it'll just collect data in here on these people but it won't actually specifically target them so keep that in mind if you want to only target these people you have to select targeting and then hit save and so then what's going to happen is now that campaign is only going to target those people who are in that list that you made and now added here so that's how you add that without google analytics now if you wanted to use google analytics to do exactly the same thing what will actually happen is that audience data will show up in google analytics as well so it's good to have there realistically you should do it that way but 
this is an option if for some reason you want to do it this way. So to do it with Google Analytics, what you first need to do is make sure that you've actually linked the accounts. So you want to go to admin and go linked accounts. And in here, you should have Google Analytics and Firebase. You want to click that one and then go link. If you haven't clicked it, just click link and it'll ask you to select from a list which analytics property you want to connect. You would click that and you would hit connect. And so once those two are connected, the next thing you need to do is go into Google Analytics and there's one thing you need to test and make sure you've got it. So what you want to do is go to admin and then go product links and Google ad links. And so now you'll see this if you've linked it correctly. Sometimes it might take about a day to show up, but once it shows up, you should see this here. What you want to do is you want to hit this and then what you want to do is go here and make sure that administrator is actually above viewer. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make these audiences properly. So what you want to do is hit this and now make sure that's set on administrator and hit save. And so now in Google ads, this link is now going to be on an administrator level and you'll be able to actually edit things. So now what we can do is go back to audience manager under tools and now we can create an audience. And now in Google analytics, what you can do is go to data display audiences. And here you can make a new audience, which will then be brought into the Google ads. So what you would do is you'd hit new audience. And now you can either use one of their presets here. If there's something that matches what you want, like particular demographics or however you want to do it, or you can make a custom audience. And here you can set your conditions. So for instance, you can do demographics, various e-commerce things like IDs of products and things like that. You can see here that this is a lot more in depth than the options you get in the Google ads. And this is why you would want to use Google Analytics if you need this extra data and basically you would select one let's say you want a particular age you could do add a filter and now you would do like select the different age groups let's say you want like over 25s for instance you would hit apply you could call this over 25 you would select how long you want people to stay in this audience for so whether it's 30 days 60 days you can just set to max if you just want them to always stay in there and then you can also get more complex with this like excluding certain people you can also add different conditions like and conditions or or conditions so they can fit either one thing or another thing or you can do they have to be age and let's say from a specific place or have a specific interest or be a specific gender you can get as complex as you need to with this and then once you've got the data you need then you would hit save and now this over 25 audience will show up in your google ads in the same place we just made the other one now it might take like a day to bring the data over we'll see if it shows up straight away it may well not okay so it has already so you can see that we've now got the audience we just made here now in the Google ads. So now you could go and add that to your Google ads account as well to your campaign. So what you would do is again, same process as before you go to campaign, you'd have to select the campaign and then you go audiences. So I'm just going to select a different campaign and then we'll go audiences. And in here, again, we should be able to add this audience segment, go campaign level, go targeting browse. And in theory, we should see the thing here. Now, for some reason, mine is showing an error, which it looks like it's that one I just made possible that Google maybe doesn't want to let me show just the particular age or something like that but it should show up here and you would click that and hit save and then you would add that as the targeting for that campaign so that's it guys that's how you create custom audiences in your google ads account so that you can use these for remarketing purposes let's say you want to remarket everyone who landed on your website or viewed a particular page or something like that this is how you set that all up you filter them basically with the settings i showed you here and then you add them to your campaign so hope you guys enjoyed that one if you'd like me to coach you on how to do google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the Google ads for you and help you out with this, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.